And we're, we're, we're ready. Hey, we're live! Hello guys, more Doki Doki. Yeah, baby! Bit Mihoka is gonna join me like, yay, more mommy Monica. Yeah. Send the link in the in the couple couple servers, and then then we'll then I'll open up Doki Doki. Where we left off, we left like last time we left off, like we ended it on like an another uh, poem thing. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, well, so... Bling Blue Stream Part 2. Hey! Hey! Alex! Alex! What are you doing in here? Wait, what? Yeah. You, in general. Oh, right. Yeah. Bling Blue Stream Part 2. <laughs> you guys already know what time it is. Anyways, hit the subscribe button if you if you're not subscribed. Yep, in, indeed. Oh it's, <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, why aren't you subscribed? Like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> Bully Blue Balls Part Two. Like, oh, yeah, like, shop. Why, yeah, like, why wouldn't be? Yeah, why, why wouldn't you be subscribed? <laughs> hey, hey, get hey, out of the of, chat. <laughs> get out of the chat, Blue. We're about to bully you. Uh, More <laughs> like you get out of the chat. <laughs> hey, detective. All right, now it's time to open up the game. Open the game. Blue, get better at Connect Four. That's all. <laughs> Shut up! You don't need to get better at everything. Just get, ev just get better at everything. <laughs> you know, have better RNG when it comes to getting your star stolen next time. I mean, not my fault that I get, that you got two stars stolen from you. <laughs> two stars stolen. That was out of my control there, okay? To be fair, you were getting the stars, so, like... Might as well make you lose two stars, because you are you were a threat at the time. You'll get better at Minecraft and stop dying every day. Every day. <laughs> get better. Get good. Also, you did lose a star because of Connect Four. All right. All right, there it goes. Bullying Bullstream, part three. Part two. Oh my part god. Two. Yeah, we're gonna have part three. You know what? I mean, but part three coming in 2024. You know, uh, Jake, we should have went to the private VC for this. <laughs> we <laughs> think. Nah, yeah. this is funnier. Yeah, it's. Well, I need a voice act. I need a voice. We can help you. Yeah. I mean, we're gonna be the narrator. We're gonna be, gonna be the narrators. Down. Want me to just just tone us down? Want me to just lock VC so it's just like the four of us? Just for now. Alright. I shared my screen. Let me turn off the lo-fi. Are you ready, kids? I, 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 I
Captain. Is, if it's the bully blue, yes. Bully blue balls now. I'm, I've been waiting for this all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, but all right. Now time to time to do. Yeah, now we're on the yeah, like second power. Yeah, me. Oh my god, Alex! Stop it! Blue, the stream, the, the stream isn't even gonna, you know, catch that sound. Page four out of twenty. That's funny. <laughs> hey yo, four twenty. Let's go. Oh, I just rhymed. And the stream hey, here. And the stream I'm here. Committing it's, crimes. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, we're gonna keep going. Mm. To be fair, Blue forgot to address 420, so that's why she lost. I'm like Dr. Seuss. Boy, you better hunt that moose. You're really trying to impress Yuri hard, too. <laughs> To be honest, I kind of like all of them except Natsuki because she's annoying in my eyes. He wants to get a maiden, Same. so he can get his. He can get laid. <laughs> Yuri's cute, but she's freaking creepy as hell. All right, hey, I'm hey, gonna hey. stop with the Doctor Seuss stuff. Detective, this is a blind playthrough here. A blind. I'm just saying. Don't spill a tea. Go off and do a serpentine move. Doki Doki AO, the title. You know, just for that. <laughs> Though, honestly, Sayori's probably my favorite out of all of them. Yeah, it's solid pick. I like cats, so kitty. Anime, yes. Blue could only wish she'd be an anime girl. <laughs> what? I, oh my god. I mean, I, I'm probably gonna try and draw jar as one in the Waluigi banner I'm doing. <laughs> I need to draw Blueberry again. It's been a long time. I need to draw in general. It's been like ages. Yeah, the artist who hasn't drawn in like three months in five hundred years. <laughs> and eternity <laughs> later. Listen, she's going people a bit just... more comfortable here the past couple of days. Um, oh yeah, entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Dick. Yo, Sayori. Uh, that's you, that's you right there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like in your gun booth today. Sorry. Uh, My bad. I'm just. Looks like. <laughs> I'm just feeling I used to you being in the club. That's all. I see. 
That's a pretty simple thing, Egan mood. I guess it's always a simple thing to be anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. I'm hungry for that ass. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. <laughs> this is pretty corny. It makes me horny. Alex! Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason really. Oh, you're trying to girl, you're trying to buy lunch. I'm not gonna buy your purse. <laughs> he wants to find your social security uh, number. Uh. You want that phone number? Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. And then dies. And she turns it upside down, lets its contents spill into the desk. Only two small coins fall out. Damn, you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I can see right through you, Sayori. It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So you're either not hungry and wa want an excuse to take a walk. It's or, simple. Like or you pimple. plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. There's one more thing. You're always hungry. <laughs> and so that only leaves one option. Give you give up? Serves <laughs> up. <laughs> if you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Guilty? <sighs> that sounds milfy. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Yuri I'm trying so hard to make, to make rhymes. Eh? I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was. It was just something in my book. Book? You were trying to look. Yuri, tell Arctic to let me borrow some money. <laughs> you know you shit. That's. Be involved like that, Sayori. Slides. Man, my, my rhymes are so fly, it makes me want to cry. You should only buy what you can responsibility afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous old stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. More like Ooh. absorbed to look. Meow? <laughs> 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 Meow? That's gonna make me go. Ow! I really like when you speak your mind, Eerie. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. You did something bad? Time to break bad. Retribution. <laughs> Dragon, read my rhymes. Coming from you, Sayori.
I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? There? He wants your underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let her fool you. I need to you. come up with better rhymes. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. And what she was doing was ordering Uber Eats. <laughs> you wouldn't have the time if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had a trick next to get to making them. <laughs> Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. No! Sayori, give him his credit <laughs> before he takes it to Reddit. <laughs> wow. Yeah! I know where something smacks Sayori in the face yeah, and tumbles onto the desk. Yeah. A cookie. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie ripped, wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances plastic. around. Must be fantastic. Yep. Is this a miracle? Yo, you're too, too trigger happy. It's because I paid my resolution. <laughs> and you read the retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> and then he almost worked. <laughs> no, the annoying bitch. No. I was just gonna give it to you. And then call you boo. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. <laughs> it was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> That's a key. Food pie. Like in that movie, was sounds like that. That movie looks mid. <laughs> Bro. That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Happy. Oh no, annoyance. <laughs> Bendy. They already hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. And then she finds out she has life. That's the noise when someone was sucking on it. Sayori suddenly say something so clasps bad. her hand over her mouth. And then she went south. <laughs> You're going through a lot. Just over one cookie. <laughs> Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Huh. Cookie? Yours I better call you really cookie. really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? <laughs> Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> or losers. But well, yours is chocolate. In my pocket. Yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat, goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. I get it, I get it. <laughs> okay, so he's not to keep reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. Oh. Sayori suddenly leans down, takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then she finds wow. out she has her. Hey! <laughs> No, 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 this is perfect. This is sponsored by Blue Bella Cookies. <laughs> and then I took a cookie and got a quickie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Did oh you my seriously God. just see that? At Starbucks. 
Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. <laughs> Yuri and I laugh as well. Yeah. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Especially at night. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Huh? Not to keep glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Oh no, Mihoko's mother. Probably got ran over by a bus or something. We never even knew existed. <laughs> Where's Monica anyway? Probably at the subway. Subway. <laughs> Restaurant. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Besides her being late. Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Mm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. She probably died. She's okay. She probably got late. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular. I go beat up. Yeah. Actually, actually, <laughs> just cut out what I said because, or did it even catch it on stream? Good if it didn't. <laughs> Too controversial. Uh, it involved Starbucks. <laughs> oh my. All right, back to the story. All right. Huh? You don't think she? She has a abortion. <laughs> oh, and it'd be so. Oh god. Oh god. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. And then get sexualized. I mean, <laughs> probably did. That's true. <laughs> See, the game even agreed with me. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry. I'm super sorry. <laughs> super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Because I was on a date. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Huh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. How did I guess that? You're still strong willed. <laughs> I am boyfriend. the greatest predictor. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? You going roundabout? Monica quizzically glances at me. Quizzically. Uh, never mind that. Mm -hmm. We'll hold mm -hmm. you up anyway. Uh. Well, my last period today was study hall. Shatter period already? Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> it makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. Or brought back some voice. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Are you a musician? Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't, really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play tonight the dip for in us, the pool. Monica. <laughs> That's... Uh... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. And let's go take a chill pill. Yay! Sis call me jobs. Yeah. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case. 
I won't let you down, Arctic. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure, <laughs> any like, or anything like that. I have to wait. Guys, get a DM to me. Oh, shit. Uh, what? He's, he's hanging me. Oh, God. What does he want? What does he want? Get it. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Oh god. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. Why are you uh, freaking me in? The voice I do over here. Set. Get here, it. I'll sub in for you. Now I'll sub in for you while you deal what with that. And what's getting into it? All right. <laughs> Dad, we really love the so chance Gannon, to share once I'm ready. Oh, the he, he's talking about detective. Hooray. <laughs> tell, tell him we said hi. Hooray. Hooray. Tell him I said hi. And I really love the chance to share once you're ready. Tell them we're pulling you. <laughs> I see. In that case, best of luck. All right. That, thank you. <laughs> so, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, yeah, Ganon called us. Not really. Some guy called Ganvius messaged you. I Who's chose Ganon? to leave outside your world and Shibi's escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Ganon? He's a pan. That sounds like whatever that means. Looks like everyone has already settled down. Settle down on the bed and ready to go. <laughs> and down to town. <laughs> yeah. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. All night long. Sponsored by Blue Bella Cookies. Yuri's back to her book. <laughs> oh my god, why was your he sponsored? Your local, your local cookie. disappeared into the closet. She's coming out. She's no, secretly, Blue out. Bell is controlling all of them all this time. She's gonna come out. Come out the closet. Sayori suddenly comes up to me. Go and she is. She wants to practice beating. Eight subtypical colors. We're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Welcome to the chaos. I'm trying to be like Dr. Seuss. Wanna come with me? Come with supplies. <laughs> what for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up? She wants a condom for him. Me and Monica, we're gonna make some posters and stuff. She wanna ride that meat all night long. <laughs> Bro, I'm just <laughs> okay. To be fair, he started it. No, I was reacting to chats. I'm not trying to stare intently at the screen. Like, what the? Fuck? Me and Monica, we're gonna make some. So I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. And plastic dick. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! This is Skull McDubbs, yay. <laughs> okay, Monica. We'll be back soon. If this was said, I would go to the moon. <laughs> ah, are you going with Arctic to get the supplies? Your OC is the reason it's made by someone. There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Aw, and I wanted to go. So much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. We came out of the closet. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See, if you can find poster paper too, okay? All right, all right. Okay. Enjoy. Ready, Arctic? Yep, let's -a go. My guy, one of the prices. Sayori and I exit the club room. Welcome to the club. Welcome Squidward. Welcome Squidward. Welcome Luka. Squidward. Welcome 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 Squidward. <laughs>
I follow behind as Sayori hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly. Feels like I'm taking the kids to the mall or something. Sayori finds pleasure in simplest things sometimes. Hey, you know what this Whoa. I think she's gonna fall be um she's definitely gonna be pleasured easily. <clears throat> what the fuck? Um Hey, Sayori. What exactly are we doing for festival anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an event out of literature. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. For you to whip it out. Don't you worry. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex, I swear. <laughs> Is that I so... uh, <laughs> Blue, welcome to the club. My God. Yep. Uh, We're gonna do the poetry before there, Miss. A uh, performance? Uh, what kind? Well, everyone is going to take turns on stage. What well, was going to take turns? And then recite their favorite poems. <laughs> oh, that sounds. If I don't want to. Kind of dull. My favorite poem is how Ronald is how Ronald McDonald was made. Arctic. Into the man he is today. You're not thinking about it the right way at all. It's just not about reading poems. It's about performing them. Jesus fucking Christ, I didn't sign up for a fucking forensics class. <laughs> like, you say the lines of the poem or like... Between my feet... The last There's remaining a flower beckons me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. Then kick some boots. Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. No, it's safe for another time. No, I'm leaving. But to what end what have I summoned this joy? What? Going to stream. <laughs> what? For now, when I look in every direction. The once preposterous feel before me is but a barren wasteland. Like that! And it was called Sayori. How do I put this? Disneyland. I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk about it like that. It, it's hard to me, for me to take Blue seriously when she talks at all. <laughs> or when she's at the mall. I mean... <laughs> or when she's not very tall. No meanie! <laughs> How did the game just predict a response for Blue? I'm running super hard on this, you know? Uh, no, know, just blow I me. I just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> Don't say that. It's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm doing a good job. Yeah, I guess so. You're doing a good job sucking my dick. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sucking on that straw. No. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I drink my Kool-Aid. This festival is going to be so punch. much fun. <laughs> yeah, once we're in the corner doing the thing. I already spins herself around the hallway again. Hey, Arctic. The classroom over here is empty. Whoa, an empty classroom. Let's the mission. Nothing could go wrong. Mission, eh? Besides saying being bumped. been a long time since I've spent time with Sayori like this. Just like the mountain trip. 
But in the end, she hasn't changed oh, a bit. No, don't break the mouth and step into the haze. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine drawing happy vibes from the world around her. Very nostalgic feeling for me. As years went by, and it makes me I began to hold myself in my room more and more. So going on adventure to Sayori brings about a special sort of feeling I forgot I had in me. Micro. The two of us enter a classroom. Sayori heads straight into the closet and I follow. Coming out. Let's see what they ha we have in here. <laughs> Maybe a deer. Crayons! Sayori pulls a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best friend too! Crayola. <laughs> They're kind of dirty though. Sayori starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. When's the part that we get to the Ita Italian sausage eater part? <laughs> Your mic cut out. What? All right, that's one now. Italian sausage eater. Whoa, just call me a wife beater because that's crazy. Don't get distracted. We still need to find. Wait, I'm looking for my favorite the Italian color. sausage. Oh, wait. Italian sausage. Wait, I'm well, looking for my wife favorite beater color. Says, that's crazy. <laughs> fine, fine. Now at least move aside so I can look for the poster paper. Ah, oh, I dropped one by accident. Smack. Smack. Yes! Smack that. They already bends over and. Max her forehead right into the shelf. Falls into the floor and the crayons spill all it. over her lap. Oh no. Is this the special Right now I got blue piss all over me. You, okay. Blue piss? <laughs> blue piss. Blue piss. Blue Luigi piss. wants a whiff. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Luigi wants a whiff. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> no! You're only doing yourself at this point. Sayori clutches her forehead. Gee, Sayori. And then she says, I want head. That's just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. And Sayori's sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Sayori. Oh, it hurts! Just do it for Too a second. Bad. Be a man already. <laughs> Sayori slowly releases her hands from her forehead and gently brushes her Why does this look like it about to suggest something? This looks like it's about to suggest me YouTube shorts. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. Why you YouTube shorts? Ow. I know YouTube shorts are Sorry. cringe, but Jesus. You guys are haters. There's a huge red mark on the center of her forehead. Bumps starting to form as well. She has another one on her neck. And that's gonna swell up. I should find you some give ice. it a kiss. Arctic. Where, where would I even find ice? ice? Give me a slice time. of that ass. <laughs> ice? Just give me a slice of that ass already. <laughs> I guess a cold I can't drink come up with, with it. Name. You don't have to. Damn, this game is already rhyming I'm for fine me. I'm with looking like a unicorn. <laughs> or starring in porn. Even wincing from the pain, <laughs> Sa Sayori makes a silly joke. How she wants to poke it. <laughs> what are you saying? I'll be right back, okay? Okay. She's saying, or he's saying, that you're a tenant. But Cat Sayori and Shoulder run out to the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? Doesn't really matter since it'll be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. I know Sayori really likes apple juice sauce, so I purchased that one. 
In just a moment, I am already returning to the classroom where I left Sayori. By the way, detective, Ganon yep. says hello. He has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsily scoop crayons back in the box. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I smelled them. <laughs> I already hear. And then she wants to whip out the cop. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I do, no! do. I hands I already bought of apple juice. See what I did there? The cock. A doodle do. <laughs> nice <No>. and cold. <laughs> I already opens the cap and started drinking from it. <laughs> I already what you're Ooh. doing. It's for your forehead, idiot. Sexual tension. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, detective. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Sorry, I <laughs> that you're a thought. <laughs> <laughs> How hard did you hit your head? That's why it's not right. Put it in the wrong one. Harder than you did me last night. <laughs> oh, no! That replaces the bottle. At least it's not as good because they deleted Gartic Phone Stream. <laughs> yeah. It stings. <laughs> Fair video you'll feel better soon. <laughs> Looks like you cleaned up most of the crayons, so that's good. Yeah, I think that's what most people are thinking. Of course, because you're a woman. Hey, Arctic. This kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh, uh, what do you mean? You know, you know how we used to play outside all the time? I would always try to keep up with you. And now we're smoking pipe. You were kind of oblivious in some ways. Like Just I usually like fell came. behind or had trouble climbing on things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things, I couldn't. I would get myself hurt. I'd fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. <laughs> and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try really hard to get me to stop crying. Because you're fucking lying. <laughs> it was almost like you blamed yourself. And we're afraid of getting in trouble when someone found out. That we were going in and out. Even though of the clubhouse. it wasn't really your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? I have to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it was my fault. Kind of like this time, too. I wasn't rushing you out of the closet, you probably wouldn't have hit your head. I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me, oh even God, though I'm just now. being clumsy. Well, it makes you look more fugly. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. And I don't really do all this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Or I even know I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when you've been friends for so long. Really? Or whip out the schlong. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> Damn it, Alex. Okay. I'm so glad well, that I gotta pee right back because, us. yeah. <laughs> Do you think it'll be like this forever? Sadly, no rhymes for me. Forever? I'm honest to myself. There's no telling where we'll end up college or after that it wouldn't be 
scared for me making your promises. But, well, I hope so. Been this long already, right? Can't imagine you ever changing, so my ho hopes are up. <laughs> I'm so happy. Sayori has a whimsical expression in her eyes. She remains silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should go back. I don't want to marry Monica, you know? The look of that. Gonna see your forehead either way. Now if I hide it under my bangs. Sayori hops to your feet. Clutches her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after you're hurting yourself. I guess it's too late now. Anyway, let's go. Call Sayori out of the classroom. Sayori plays for Bane's the try hide bump, but not much success. The moment we make it back to the club room. I Ah, oh, you're back. <sighs> Good timing. I was just about ready to start sharing our poems. Uh, Sayori, your forehead. It's fine, don't worry about. I was playing with the crayon to smack my forehead into the shelf. Well, anyway. <laughs> were you able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh, I have it right. Huh? Sayori frantically glances around herself. I, I forgot all the stuff! Calm down, Sayori. Have it all right here. Found the poster paper, too. <laughs> Sounds like you ended up doing all the work, Artic. Ah, uh, well, Sayori. Still to come up with an excuse for Sayori. I made an adventure. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Yes, I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. Alright. Woo! Mm. Hmm. You know, I guess I'll start off, Yuri. Oh boy. Of course. Let's see what you've written to for today. Well done, Artic. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. I mean, for you, that means a lot. Huh? It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like turning oh, yeah. a bunch of gears. Year fifth. Yeah, I can go on a like one or two kind 
Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. And write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's very intimate exercise. I see. That's certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that, if you'd like to read it. Of course. This is the poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me your poem. The, rac the raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed always comes back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. I'm <clears throat> Rocket Raccoon. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The, the raccoon has taken a following to me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. Raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently. So my bread is always handy. Every time I, I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic. Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Really good poem. Yeah, I like that. Um, um, how I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. A lot more metaphorical. I'm, I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. Let's fight. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Close to come. <laughs> also, I'm back. Hi, guys. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. I know that you told me. I don't remember them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. <laughs> Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. Yeah. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Arthur? Well, yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best way we can do is respect each other and our individualities. And I'll pull out your titties. What? <laughs> oh, no. Damn it, Alex. I swear, Alex. <clears throat> you're gonna get us demonetized. <laughs> 
Oh my I'm god! This close. I'm honestly this close. I didn't even catch what he said. <laughs> even if it's difficult sometimes, and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. It, it might be ranting a little bit now. Well, glad you're you're a good listener. Uh, all right. Guess I'll do. So do Sayori's. Hi, Tech. I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. Yeah, I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. And yesterday's and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so. <laughs> no way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. <laughs> I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well. I guess I'll be honest about it. A lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. <laughs> Stop thinking weird things, idiots. I just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like All right, cooking. chat. Here's a quick lesson. Don't think your life is stupid. Always be grateful for what you have. Yes. I agree with that. Thank Don't you. Don't take Alex. this game seriously like it's your actual. That's not. It's talk just about, about anime. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, we, we don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings for you than I can for myself. You have that kind of weird connection. You're falling in my business all the time. Huh? I don't know if I understand. Ah, uh, you never understand why I try to explain things to you, do you, Sayori? Like that Sayori said. Uh, hey! Not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? I'm a big kid now. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, I think. Will you give me your poem? I kinda wanna keep it. Uh, why? Because... Well... It's the first time you bring something for me. <laughs> Sayor, you're completely misunderstood. Didn't write this for you. <laughs> oh, it will. Oh no! Well, I know where this is going next, right? You are Mexican Sonic. Yep, Jordy. This is going to. Um, they're going to take it to McDonald's. <laughs> Why McDonald's? Yeah, they want to get that. Days. They want to get that French fries. They want to get the, that quarter pounder. Definitely the quarter pounder. Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when we go home. Do you want that special quarter really? pounder? 
nap. Uh, ah! I broke my pencil. Just sharpen it again. Sayori hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped. Being intense of her surroundings, she bumps right into me. Sorry. Fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I've been down to and pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk beside her to support herself, knee shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. Grab Sayori's arm and help her sit on the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh. Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Bottles, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls, of sun Damn, scalpers. little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bu bundle of kittens. I reach inside my thumb Whoa. and forefinger to pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in the bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other, other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. And bottles all in a row. Oh, thoughts. crud, that was my bad. Uh, can, I send my, can, I, can I send my thoughts on I the, you know, I accident thing? I accidentally skipped it. Some of it. The only thing I heard My was bad. balls that are tiny and tingling between something, I don't know. Shut up, Alex! No. Oh, I'm going to no. delete the Monica files as quickly as possible. Wish me luck. That's yeah. Sonic. What, what so are you doing? Why would you delete the file? Holy crap. I already did you really the right Because this? it's funny. It's in a, because it's in his pile of shit. Of course they did. Didn't you? Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean, I did expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I can, I can see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe creepy, because I'm be so sneaky. used to you being cheerful. Oh, never mind. What? I'm thinking too hard about it. Point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helped me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. Yeah, I'm pretty passionate about this, huh? Hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die! <laughs> Don't Damn. get ahead of yourself. 2,000 years later. I already always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it. years later, her great 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 Hi again, Arctic. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. 
Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. Yeah, while you're at it, you should subscribe to WAG Gamers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my Waluigi channel. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna start uploading and streaming on it soon. So stay, so stay tuned for that. Post the link to the channel. All right. Once I, once I do the ban, like the banners and the new profile picture, I, I think it'll be just fine. And remember, chat, I did that unintentionally. <laughs> I am my own boss. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. It's pretty good. This It makes me think of Sayori. Like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. <laughs> yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? And again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a little bit of time to make friends with everyone. But you and Nasuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? I know, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, all right. But anyway. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a look. Don't skip at this time. All right. They made the colors. They won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Filing, grating, waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent, like playing the chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Wait, what's that? What's, what's... Scroll down, scroll down. I, tell me next time I get a pizza and get a vinyl and I'll... Load me. Even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's, it's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of your poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. 
A poem could be abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Yep. <laughs> the way you just followed up on that. <laughs> what? I don't know if it's obvious, RJ, but I don't know if you caught on to what Monica's really saying here. I, I just wanted to save the game for the bunny. Probably not. It's bunny. Let's go find the bunny. <laughs> no. You never know when he might change your mind. You don't want to find bunnies, Arctic? But they're so cute. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yeah, I love fourth wall breaks. <laughs> I love breaking walls. Well, it's not any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Huh? See what? Oh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get to feel you're probably the most critical. Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. <laughs> well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be good as me someday. <laughs> That's a... Uh, I mean, that doesn't mean not to completely miss the point. Come to a think singular of it, it's point. It kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess you've been friends with her for so long. You might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. I already has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how could someone so er, fluffy spend so much time with someone <laughs> like you? It's uh, like she's dragging around a dead weight. That was a little unnecessary. Think of it this way: if it weren't for me, she probably be she would probably just fly away, like letting go of a balloon. Because they would take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I'll get it. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to show you my palm. Yeah. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. hairy. Amy has a cute singing voice. I, I heard her sing my favorite love song every time she sang the chorus. My heart would pound to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. Her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. A Amy has a lot of friends. I always hear her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. Doesn't matter. She has other hobbies. Doesn't matter. She keeps it private. Doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She She's gross. The world's better off without spider lovers. Now I'm gonna tell any everyone. Oh my god. Oh my. If only you knew. If only you knew. 
Not bad, if right? If only he knew. Oh, foreshadowing? Shadow? Uh, Shadow could, the Hedgehog? You could say that. Quite mostly. a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. The original version of yesterday was crazy. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I had to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. <laughs> Like, anyone would agree that the subject of the poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you, do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It could be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Stupid, you are stupid. Likes. As long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Uh, that's funny. Yuri wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well... I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Ooh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Atsuki has trouble finding words. I guess I should try not to be so mean to her. She feels insecure about her weird behavior and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. I wonder if someone's going to make a Luigi, like a Luigi poem for Bella. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was not me this time. <laughs> Oh my god. Dragon, do I need to start roasting you instead? No. <laughs> oh my god. At this point, I'm just gonna switch teams. You do this to yourself all the time. You should not be surprised at this point. Yeah, you should be surprised. Shut up, <laughs> no, you should. Someone make a peach. Someone make a poem for Peach. Dedicated to the left. Oh, sh And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. My mic keeps cutting out and I hate it. But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even for Ryan's style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. Uh, it's what I do best, after all. 
I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. Feel what? I'm going to write a good one tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Yes, Bendy the Luigi documentary. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, as you're saying, what? I finished reading that already. All right. <laughs> I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front. You of see the room. darkness. We're in the general V. <laughs> the VC the crew, but it's it's. I don't know why. Hang on one Is second. This about the festival. Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. Yeah, the main, main reason why I even locked the VC was... <laughs> was because I don't want Wave joining to oh, get us all cancelled. Like, I'm just being honest here. I'm gonna restart my little laptop, or like, you know, Discord, because my mic keeps cutting out. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay for a little bit. Alright. Because I'm doing work. Ooh. Drag me back in when That's I'm done. That's I'll a tell concern you. of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. <laughs> We're going to keep it simple, okay? We don't need much more than a few decorations. Jory has been working on posters, and I've designed some of the pamphlets we can give out during the event. Uh, blue. Blue balls. He's out of the read not to keep. Yes! Read, read, read the dialogue. Read the dialogue. Read it all. In your annoying ass voice, read it. But that doesn't tell us what we're go we're going to actually do for the, the event. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. I'm alive. We're going to be performing. Hold on, hold on, I want to make sure because I missed a lot from last stream, but is this after the, you know, hanging joke? We're not there yet. We're, we're not there yet. Oh, uh, okay. Hang yourself. Performing? Alright, well, I just want to make sure, just want to make sure. Anyway, I'm going to go back to my whole thing. Um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be... Having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let everyone else come and recite their poems too. So you're always pointing on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring the poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you 
You didn't, you didn't already start putting your posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for any of this, you know. There is no way I am going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. Slavery. I I agree with Natsuki. I can never in my life do something like that. <laughs> Imagining that Yuri shakes her head in fear. Aww. Guys. Stick your butt. No, Sayori. <laughs> I understand where they're coming from. Yeah, our our heads. <laughs> All right, it was up, Sam was. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri never shared their problems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole bang, room bang, future. full of people. <laughs> I guess I kind of overlooked that. I'm gonna stop the dialogue right here until Alex. Alex, please shut the fuck up. You so, spoke, I'm sorry. spoken for way too long. Spoken for way too long. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. <laughs> if we start the event and, and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire our others to do the same. <laughs> of course, we hope. <laughs> and the screaming. more people will perform, <laughs> the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings. Mean and intimidate you with yourself. Finding new horizons. Mm -hmm. And having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? <laughs> Why, Miyoko? <laughs> to inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place. I know you do. I know we all do. And if it all, and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. It still leaves you no choice. I agree. I don't think it's much to ask. I think Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least you could do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but...
Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments to left. Okay, fine. I guess I'll, I'll just have to get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around everyone else expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through an notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room, showing that her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is, is this something she's done before, or is she simply natural? Glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Iori looks amazed. Here as it takes expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Four of us flawed. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll, I'll go next. I did not expect that. Oh, you're even all fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quietly over to the podium. This po poem is called. This poem is called. Oh, my my bet. Yuri anxiously glances it's at okay, each of us. It's all good. You can do it, Yuri. It's it's called after image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. 
Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and its structure that enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse uh, into the whirling fire Yuri is concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri naps back into reality, glances around her as if she she bewildered even herself. Also, detective, I can hear the truth through you. It's up to me to save the situation. And first start plotting. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were so caught guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. That was, Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Sayori hops out of the her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. Why did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aim aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it but hearing it from sayori's voice almost gives me a almost gives it a whole new meaning maybe this is what sayori meant when she said she likes my poems it, it's like i get to reach more deeply into someone i thought i knew for and for who. sayori finishes and we um. applaud yay yay I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Arctic liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the phone fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. <laughs> eh, I don't really understand. Yeah, let's say or Miyoko. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Listen, Miyoko, I know you. Oh my god. Oh, I get what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing.
It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. <laughs> we don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Me. You make me go before Arctic. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. May as well let Arctic lower everyone's standards a little before <laughs> I have to do it. Natsuki. Fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. It's not like I have much selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Like that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. I'm not as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over the time, though. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. All right. Uh. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets a uh, receipt, makes her way to the podium. This poem is called, it's called, why are you all looking at me? <laughs> because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sore, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rib rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. He hoofs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd be better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, though. Well, I guess in that case... You wouldn't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming 
through. <laughs> it might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you will be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. All right. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. Alrighty. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I hate Mondays. <laughs> yeah, wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. Stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, God. Makes Man, such a big odds? deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, I... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Arctic. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's just go already. <laughs> Welcome Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already been changed. But today, Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... I already fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asks to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? I had a question is that. Kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh. Well, Arctic? What are you gonna pick? Mm -hmm. You know what? I really think I'll ditch you for, for Yuri? Uh, but, but she's so beautiful and smart. I did not see that com- your comment did not go through until, until after I ch chose the thing, Miyoko.
I already see her in the club every day. Dad, you always seem really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Artek. You really think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted to, so... I already, already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? Hmm. Conversation trails off. Kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what happened that time? Okay. We made it through another day and we've been streaming for nearly two hours. Yep, nearly two hours. Um, we saved the game. Should we just call it off here again and wait for next time? Yeah, we, we can My do that. My voice is tired. Yeah. Oh, I need water. Yeah, that, that's fair, honestly. I'm gonna end it here, guys. So, all right, that's fun. I just got finished with some homework too, and I'm playing Celeste Chapter Four. All right, all right. Make sure to like, subscribe, and next next stream I'll either do part three of this or I'll resume Odyssey. So, bye, bye, guys. Bye, chat. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you next time.